Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movie 7 here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. Since last time I made my way back to uh, outside of Flex here, unfortunately didn't really succeed in our plan in, in uh, retrieving the Moon Dagger from Linus. Uh, we did kill her though, so I guess there's that. Um, also of note here, I want to come clean on something. Uh, there was a little cutscene we had back in uh, Foino before returning back to uh, Donal. Um, I didn't show that because I kind of forgot it was there. Um, so, really what happened was that we were talking to Commodore Puller. We told him that we weren't able to retrieve the uh, Moon Dagger. Uh, he was going on about how he likes the ocean. He was trying to recruit Dart into being a sailor along with him. Uh, commenting on the fact that he he thinks that Dart would make for a great sailor. Um, and you're given a choice to either say, Oh, uh, a sailor or seaman or whatever. Uh, I, could, I could deal with that. Or say, uh, I can't. And then, um, well, you say you can't. And then, uh, essentially, essentially he's like, Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, but I understand. Uh, whenever you're ready to come back to, uh, to the ship, let me know and we'll head out. And yeah, that was pretty much it. But yeah, the main thing, if I... Well, I know I should have shown that off, and I apologize for not doing so. But really, I made the judgment call to not show that, because I didn't want to have to run back through the Barrens on camera again. So, I was, like I was saying in earlier episodes, I want to try to cut that out as much as possible. So, I know it's not fully ideal, and obviously I, I should have shown that off, I know that. But, I didn't just for the sake of, uh, of time. Plus, we would have had to deal with a couple of battles that we've already seen a bajillion times in the Barrens as well, so... But yeah, it's all good. So we're, yeah, obviously we're back here, and the real Princess of, Princess of Meal is back now. The evil doings of the sinner. Wow. <laughs> the lane is not a little thick there, aren't you? Well... You can't really blame yourself. I mean, you were you fell off a horse and were unconscious for six months. Like, you can't really do much about that. So yeah, the blame is all on the fate for taking advantage of the situation. Of course, fate being Linus, obviously. But yeah, you're not at fault here at all. I'm also just glad to see that all the yeah, townspeople are happy to see the real her back. I have gratitude. Aw, she's so nice. This clapping and all this... It doesn't sound like clapping, really. Oh, hey, it's the woman from earlier who wanted the uh, fate princess to uh, name her child. Well, I don't think she'd mind at all. Well, uh, what would be a good name for a uh, child? Does she know if it's male or female? Princess Emile, that is. Oh, okay. Um, E-I? I-E? I, I have no idea how to, how to uh, pronounce that name. Uh, E? I, I really don't know. And Al for a boy. I wonder where she pulled that one from. But, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll go with that. Well, she'll go with that, rather. Well, at least things are uh, back to normal around here for the most part. Still sucks we weren't able to reacquire the Moon Dagger, but uh, well, we'll get our chance soon enough there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, also on the way back um, through the Undersea Cavern and the Barrens there, did a, a little bit of, I say, grinding, but it was just the normal battle, battles that would have fought anyway. Um... Dart actually got to Dragoon level 4, which was nice. Uh, Madness Hero, I think now, is on level 2. Uh, Summon Four Gods for Hoshel is on level 2. Uh, Meru is almost done with Double Smack, actually. She only has maybe five more hits of that to go. And then I'll swap her over to uh, her new addition, Hammerspin. Yeah, Meru will be in my main party here, I think, for a good little while. Uh, I want to work on her... Uh, I want to work on her SP levels for sure. Because yeah, her spells are really, really good. 
Oh, yeah, there's a head on inside. Oh, yeah, I also took care of uh, restocking back at Foino there. I bought a handful of uh, healing potions, did it up to uh, nine of those again. A couple more healing breezes. I did also buy a Sun Rhapsody just to have. Uh, I did also sell my burnouts and the gushing magmas that I had I that I didn't use. I kept those for so long, too, but I, I got through the fight so quickly that I, I didn't really need them. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Um, so that's, uh, over here? Oh, wait, no, that's, that's right, the Chamber of the Sun should be the, you know, the main area. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was one of the towers, but oh well. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, if I didn't really say so, I don't think I did, did it all, actually. This is the uh, finale of Disc 2. I kind of really didn't go over that at all, I don't think, so, uh, oops. Uh, my bad. But yeah, we'll be starting up Disc 3 today. And yeah, Disc 3 is where things start getting really, really good. We start learning a lot more about the whole world itself. Um, really getting into more uh, extravagant areas and whatnot, we'll just say. Also, Disc 3 might be the hardest in the game, actually. We have uh, plenty of extremely hard boss fights. Uh, also, pretty much two of them... Well, Really, what, three of them, back to back to back, more or less. <clears throat> but uh, we'll get to those in due time, never you fret. Oh, really? Ugh, that sucks. Apparently, they uh, both have a f uh, crush on Albert, it would seem. But yeah, we uh, made it back in one piece. Unfortunately, yeah, we don't have the Moon Dagger. We could make the Moon Blade. That'd be cool. It'd be, it would be an, an upgrade. We just have to, you know, go to Lagoon Castle and, uh, well, you know, find it in there. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, we did do those things. We did kind of save the entire kingdom, so... Uh, good and bad out of this whole scenario here. I mean, yeah, we did also lose Dark Dragoon Spirit... Um, still didn't, of course, reclaim the Moon Dagger. Um, Lloyd got away again. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, there's good and bad, but oh well. Oh, well, I mean, I suppose that's true. I guess, in a way, it's like peer pressure from your relatives, or past relatives, in a sense. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that is true. Uh, you three would be the ones to put smiles on people's faces. We've already seen Princess Emile do that in spades with her coming back. Oh, well, okay. I mean, if you're satisfied, then I guess we are too. Oh? Hmm, what's that? Oh, okay, well, I appreciate that. I'm sure they do as well. Oh, so we're apparently now in the west of the, uh, western part of the country? I actually didn't really even catch that before. I really should actually look at the world map more often just to see, like, what's where in a broader sense. Because I really don't do that in this game, like, ever. Eh, oh well. Ooh, a banquet! Nice! I'm sure they're starving. <laughs> and of course, Meru has to have her input. <laughs> uh, she will never change. N not that I want her to. She is, uh... Yeah, she is definitely the perkiest member of our party. Always a step ahead. Alrighty. Hey, sounds good. Nice way to uh, relax here after everything that's happened. I mean, we've been to a lot of places. I mean, between the Barons... The Giganto Home, the Valley of Corrupted Gravity, the Undersea Cavern. Yeah, we've been through a lot. Oh, yeah. But how are we gonna get to Mil Sisso, uh from here? Oh, Lord Dart was born? Oh, was his actual hometown in that region then, apparently? Oh. 
Sure seems like it. We do know Dart is from Neat, right? He has gone over that before. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm pretty sure he has. That's not really a spoiler to say that because we already know that. Oh. Uh, Dart, they're just going to look around. Like, relax. Oh, what do you mean, Aaron? Rose is just, uh... Yeah, she's already gone. <laughs> she's like, see ya. Oh, well, yeah, we... We couldn't have done it without our entire group. Alrighty. Hey, sounds good to me. Alrighty, now, I think at this point we actually have... Never mind. Oh. You just come right out and say that. Well, I guess now is a good time as any. Well, what's the saying there? Um, uh, oh, I can't think of it. Something makes the heart grow fonder. I can't. I can't think of the uh, the right word before that. Um, it's it's not longing, is it? No, no. I for, I forget what it is. I know the I know the phrase. Like most of it there, but I just can't think of it. Well, apparently she's all past the whole uh, baby sister thing. Oh. Well, it's good to be honest with your feelings there. Honest about your feelings. Oh, really? Dart, have you gone past this past this too? Oh. Okay, sure. Well, nice to see they're taking things in the uh, in a new direction now. With Oh, I was going to say, with no eavesdropping, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Oh, really? Oh, well, I mean, yeah, I, I guess we did. Well, this is twice now we've done this, actually. We did it first in Hoats with a Firebrand, Firebrand, whatever. Um, and then now here. Just a you know, right place, right time, I guess. Oh, already? Alrighty, well, hey, we'll, uh, we'll see you there. Should be a nice time for us to uh, finally relax a little bit. Guys, again, come. <laughs> They're just like, bruh. Well, is it starting soon? Oh, okay. Oh, dresses. Oh, guess we're dressing up for the party. Or at least the ladies are anyway. I guess the guys would just be wearing their normal attire. Can't imagine they'd have much uh, for Condol, for one thing. Um, Albert's probably fine, because he just wears what he normally wears anyway. Same, oh, same with Dart, really. But uh, already, so now we gotta go on a little fetch quest here of sorts to find everybody. Um, I think, um, since we're right here, I'm pretty sure Albert's uh, in Lisa's tower over here. I would assume as much anyway. I, I don't recall where everyone is for sure. I'm um, trying to think back from what I remember of the game from before. Um, there is a, like a training area somewhere. I know Condal's down there. Uh, I think Rose might be in the um, the side bedrooms where he stayed before. Um, oh, Albert's not here. Oh, he must be with uh, with a meal actually. Okay, that makes more sense. But, um, anyway, uh, what's, uh, what's going on here? Doing more astrology stuff? I would... Oh, sorry, didn't mean to eavesdrop. Oh, we, we were just, uh, in the neighborhood, you know. We thought Albert might have been here, but, uh, well, that's my bad. I, I was wrong. Oh, well, yeah, looking forward to seeing you there. Okay, so yeah, Albert's over in uh, Emil's tower, so I'll just head off over there. Oh, cool little uh, mini cutscene there of sorts. 
what am I stuck on right here? I cannot go left, even though there's clearly space for me to go left. I had to go up there. That was just odd. But it's also playing this game on a keyboard with, uh, I'm using my arrow keys, of course, for movement. It's a little bit weird. That actually reminds me, for the original PS1, I, well, on the actual console for this game, um, did Legend of Dragoon support analog stick movement? I know it was a later PS1 uh, title, so I want to say it would have. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been so long since I last played it on an actual PS1. Um, I know it works on, on the Vita, because I have played it on the Vita semi-recently. Since I got that thing back in action a couple of months ago. Which actually, I should dust off again to uh, play some more. I haven't touched the thing in a while. I was playing through the uh, Trails of the Sky games, actually. Uh, the first one I started with, first chapter. Uh, I'm only like the very beginning hours of that one again. It's been so long since I last played it uh, in general. So I've, I've been due for a uh, first and second chapter replay. Oh, anyway, Legend of the Mermaid, huh? Well, we saw them in the, uh, in the Undersea Cavern. Of some country. Interesting. I guess it's an unknown one, or just a very small one. Oh. Hmm. You'd think with him being the king of the country, he would have had women, like, all sorts of women wanting to, uh, earn his favor and all that. Is this, like, a pseudo-reference to the Little Mermaid? Because I know how Ariel wanted to uh, have a life above the water. Um, and Eric, he wasn't a king. He was a prince, though. And he was, you know... Well, I guess the only half of that makes, sense, more, makes more sense for Ariel and not Eric. Also, I don't really know much about Eric's backstory in uh, Little Mermaid. I haven't seen that movie in, my god, like 20-some years at least, if not more than that. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> what? A, wow, what a tease, Albert. Jeez. Oh, well, that's nice. You know, sometimes that's how it goes. You find somebody you really, really enjoy talking to, and the time just flies by. It's the same sort of thing when you get lost in a really, really good video game. You just get so enthralled in, like, the world, the characters, the gameplay, story, and all that. And then three, four hours later, you're like, oh, it's dinner time. Oh, it's 4 a.m. Oh, it's the next day. Oops. <laughs> That's been mostly me with Xenoblade 3. I've been playing that every day, really, since I got it uh, a couple weeks ago now, actually. Yeah, I'm already, uh, well, I say already. I'm only, I should say, in, uh, in Chapter 4. Um, I just got to Chapter 4 the other day. Uh, I've got a new, uh, hero job class available that I'm working on mastering for everybody. Um, also, Albert's being poetically nerdy, as always. Just how he is. Um, but yeah, I'm doing some more leveling up for said job class there. Um, just to get it to rank 10 for everybody. Not that I really need to... It's a good class, though. I don't want to say what it is. Uh, uh, that will be a kind of a spoiler-ish thing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm fighting a, a level 80 unique monster in the uh, in a certain cave. Um, in the uh, I think it's in the Asia region, the, the uh, starting region there. Um, but yeah, I've just been refighting the thing over and over and over again for tens of thousands of experience points and several hundred CP per battle to, to get it uh, leveled up very quickly. But yeah, I'm like 70-some hours in now. Um, my whole team's on level, I think, 88? Which I know is, of course, absurdly over level, and I do not care. Uh, oh? Meru? It's Meru. Who else is here with you, Mero? Meryl? She's not a Pokemon. It's Hot Shell, isn't it? <laughs> <sighs> okay, you didn't have to throw them. Holy shit, the maid did that? Wow. What do you want me to do? I can't control them. 
I mean, he, he's not wrong, but like it's we're not in a war right now. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, but no, somebody here has to be the level head, and it, God forbid it won't be you two. Yes, it'll it'll be a banquet. So yeah, you'll be able to pick out as much as you, as you guys want. Already, well, two for one special, nice. Uh, can we go down into here yet? No, still locked. Okay, that's still not until later then. Huh, odd. Um, anyway. Um. Oh wait, wait. What's is this the? Oh, is this the uh, training hall area thing? Oh, okay, yeah, it is. So, where? What's underneath the uh, the castle here then? Oh, yeah, Tondal, you do have friends. You have very good friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm uh, glad you approve. Whoa, ho, yo, whoa, ho, whoa. No need for that. <laughs> Although that was kind of my mistake anyway. Shouldn't really have uh, snuck up on you from behind like that. So, apologies. Oh, well, a little bit. Well... I did, but maybe Dart didn't. But yeah, come aboard. Alright, ooh, so, ooh, double chests. Nice, what do we got? Ooh, a moon serenade. I'll keep that for later. Damn it. <sighs> I'm always full on items when I don't want to be or need to be. Also, yeah, Mare is annoyingly poisoned. She uh, got poisoned uh, on the way back to the Barrens. <sighs> It'll bother me if I don't heal it, so I'm just going to heal it right now. Uh, body purifier. I'll buy another one later. Anyway, what do we have over here? Anything good? Okay, okay, I'll take that. Don't know if I'll use it right now, but uh, we'll see. Um, oh, this is where the dresses are being made. Um, hey, uh, Libria? Or, no, somebody else here. Oh, okay. Uh, we just need Rose now at this point, and she's over... Um, where is she? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, the bedrooms before. I said that earlier. That's right. Sorry. Yeah, right over here. Just uh, hanging out doing Rose stuff. Leaning as always. My god, she leans all the time. Uh, who's... Who's he? Oh? She actually laughed? Oh, what a softy you are, Rose. Oh, what's that? Oh, neat little choker there. Couldn't really see much besides the uh, sparkle. Oh, maybe her traveling with us um, has softened her up some. Oh, what are you knocking on, Dart? There's no door there. Was there? I didn't see one. Oh. Yeah, for sure. Looking forward to uh, all the food there, for certain. Alrighty. Uh, not that it really matters for party setup for right now, but I'm still going to go with um, the Hashel and Meru here. Work on the uh, speed party. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, um, we should be able to just go here or go there right now, I, I think, anyway. Um, yeah, so let's see. Um, over here and down here. Just where we were before with, uh, with Convil. Okay, yep, here we go, perfect. Um, I gotta say, um, seeing Meru and Rose in a dress doesn't strike me as something that they would really be willing to do, for one thing. Shauna, though, I think would, uh, love to do this. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, who else would she be talking about? Oh, well, we can't really say no to them. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised. Oh, okay, well, I suppose that's a fair point as well. Rose, I'm not surprised there either. Well, actually, well, I guess... 
Le oh, less so for Rose, for sure. Oh. <laughs> Ever the warrior, aren't you, Rose? The living room? Uh... Okay, where is that? I have no idea. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Um... Yeah, so there might not be any combat in the episode today because, well, it's the end of the disc, so it stands to reason. Alrighty, cool. Get to see how uh, Shauna lets in a dress. That should be a, a nice surprise for Dart there. Ooh. I, uh, I like this theme. We only ever hear it here, I'm pretty sure, right? So I'm like, I'm fairly certain of that. But, uh, yeah, that's us. So, uh, I was gonna say he was all here, but just, like, just normal people who aren't even... <laughs> they're just sliding back and forth. They're barely moving. Wait, huh, what? I didn't... I didn't do anything. Hmm? Oh. Is she maybe outside somewhere? Oh yeah, you are quite a bit taller than uh, than Dart. But well, really, anyone for that matter. Giganto are very, very large in stature. Oh, hmm? Oh, hey. Hi. Uh, how's it going? Oh. <laughs> oh, well, hey, there's plenty of Dart to go around. I can uh, happily tell the story to you both at the same time. <laughs> uh, no, I think the woman in the red dress did first. <laughs> I can only imagine this is really uncomfortable for Dart. He's just, he's just not used to this sort of thing. Oh, yep, yeah, that is correct. Oh, well, hey, thanks. I owe you one. Oh, yeah, we gotta, uh, gotta find her, wherever she is. Oh, yeah, he does have a point. Alright, so yeah, we'll just leave you to that. Uh, Mary, are you having fun? Yeah, she's having a blast, it looks like. Oh, um, yeah, sure, why not? Not sure how good a dancer Dart is, but with Meru being the lead, that might help. Oh, wow, he's apparently quite good. Oh, uh, no idea. Apparently not here. Oh, already? Well, I'll go find her wherever she may be. Okay, okay, I'm going. Jeez. Um, okay, oh, here's Albert. Oh, yes, yeah, so how are we gonna get there exactly? Because I didn't really see anywhere to go from, uh, from here. No, oh, maybe the Queen Fury will get us there? Although it's, it's all the way back over in Doe now. So, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, wait, is it fondness makes the heart grow? No, that's not it. No. She mentioned that scene, that, that phrase that I was talking about earlier. Oh, hmm? Oh, well, just trying to find Shauna. Man, Dart, you're so easy to read. Okay, she has to be somewhere. Um, oh, hmm, what's going on? Oh, okay. Um, already? Sure. Oh, the other people there, I don't think they really say much. I don't care to really talk to them. Um, oh, hey, Rose. No surprise you're out here by yourself. What, I, I just got here. The party literally just started. Oh, I can't see her. The uh, screen isn't fully zoomed out enough for me to see that far over. Oh, never mind that red flicker of uh, graphics there. Oh, wow. Uh, Shauna, you look fantastic. The dress fits you perfectly, it looks like. Like, it was essentially tailor-made for her. Well, no, you still look this, you still look beautiful beforehand. Oh, 
perfect night for this. Oh. Well, I see multiple falling stars. Wow. Isn't that really, really rare to see, like, multiples like that? I thought just, like, seeing one was rare enough. But I don't really know about that sort of thing, so I can't say for sure. Aw, how sweet. Oh, they finally did the thing. Good for them. I'm happy for them. And that wraps up Dist 2. Um, let me think here. Do I want to go ahead and start Dist 3 right now? Um, you know what? Actually, yeah, I think I will. I'll go ahead for I'll go for a little more length today. So if you'll excuse me one sec, I gotta do my uh, usual thing here with changing the uh, ISO. Change disk ISO uh, disk three. Perfect. I mean, I have not been on disk three of this game, and I don't even know how long it has been ages. But yeah, disk three is like I said earlier, um, probably the hardest of the four disks, and also probably the best as well. And yeah, the plot really, really gets going here. Now we start having a lot more, uh, more implications on a, on a larger scale. I'll just uh, go with that. But anyway, apparently we are on, are on board the Queen Fury. Uh, oh, wow. Chapter 3, Fate and Soul. It's a cool-ass water town here. I like it. Definitely uh, did the vibes here from one thing. But uh, how do people get around here? Okay, well, I see the ground levels and all that, but I guess there's also... Well, I, I don't know if they swim through the uh, waterways. Oh, really? From where and why? Oh, so, like, good blood? Weird. Uh, hold on one sec. Okay, there we go. Oh, what do you mean a long time? You've been here before? Oh, well, yeah, I suppose so. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, Connor, you doing okay? You're not, like, seasick or anything? Oh, Fernie the Water City. Nice. I wonder how long the trip took from, uh, from, uh, Tiberawa to here. Well, apparently he wanted us to chase him down. At least it seemed like as much. But yeah, we'll finally start learning more about what Lloyd's up to with this whole plot there, with collecting all the uh, moon objects there and such. Yeah, well said, Shauna. Alrighty. So, party still the same. Uh, yep, Dart, Meru, Hoshel. Um, oh yeah, let's go over a couple things here real quick. Yeah, Dart will still be on Madness Hero for a while. Um, his final, oh, uh, semi-final edition won't be until level, I think, 29, actually. Um, so yeah, we'll have Madness Hero done in plenty of time. Um, Rose will be done with Hardblade here pretty soon, and then she'll get her a final edition there, which is really, really good. Hashel already almost halfway done with Summon Four Gods. Nice. Albert will be done with Harpoon here pretty soon. Uh, Meru there, yeah, double smack still. Hammer spin I'll swap to later as well. Condrol, I'll, maybe I should bring him in as well, although that would mean somebody else isn't getting used. Um, nah, he'll be fine, I, I don't really care. Um, anyway, so I actually want to just go ahead and save my game for right now. I want to save the exploration and everything here for next time, because I don't know if I'll be able to cover everything right now. But, uh, what I will show off is this. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? I see a whole bunch of fighters, uh, apparently. Um, what's going on? Are we doing another, like, hero tournament or something like that? Oh, what strategy? Oh, the White Wolf Kamui? Kamoi? 
I don't know how to pronounce that name either. If anyone else knows how to pronounce it, let me know. I'll probably say either Tomoe or Tomui. Or, yeah, something like that. Or whatever. Uh, oh, Evergreen Forest uh, in Deningrad. Interesting. Well, I would... I would assume so. Oh, Teo. That, uh, Teo Schwarzer. No, that's, yeah, that's another game. Also, that Teo is way, way older than this Teo. Oh, okay. What's the plan? Oh, okay. So, what? Just try to draw the thing out? Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, you might want to be careful that with that axe there, dude on the right. You almost took out the uh, commander knight right there. Oh, uh, what's up? Bulgus, huh? Sounds like a, a DBZ name. Oh, okay, that's fine. We don't really care about the prize. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Already tough guy, yeah, calm down, calm down. No, oh, apparently this wolf is uh, quite the problem. Has he been attacking people or anything? Or just like... I wonder if also if Teo knows Kamui. Huh, well, we'll find out more about that uh, later on. Um, for right now, let's go ahead and cross over this away into the, um, the hotel. And let's see here. I would like to um, get healed up here. Are, are you the innkeeper? Oh, three years ago. Oh, okay, so Kamui is his. Wow, three years ago. So it's been quite a while. Um, oh, wait, is this. Oh, hmm. Oh, National Library. Okay, do not tell Al Albert about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and save up here real quick. Um, also, yeah, there are Stardust around here to find. I don't have my list handy right now, but uh, I'll take care of that next episode. And speaking of which, um, after I get saved up here, we'll start exploring more of uh, Fernie to find out more about Teo and the Wolf Kamui. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This has been Mr. Movie 7 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.